everyone, my name's Angie and in today's video I want to try and talk you out of things that are distracting you and making you procrastinate and that's basically the aim of this video. I have some points here that I'm going to talk about and I'm going to get straight into it. Now the first one is I think the biggest struggle. Now let's be honest, all of us love to go on our phones and I think it's the, one of the biggest distractions for me definitely because I love going on social media. I love checking Instagram, Snapchat, and I could happily just sit on Snapchat for about an hour. But during exam season, Snapchat is not your friend. Instagram is not going to help you with your math equations. At some point of the day, you need to put down your phone. I'm saying it while my phone's in my hand, yes, okay. I know some people like to have their phone with them while they're revising, and that's fine if you can resist grabbing for it every 20 minutes. For me, I need it not to be in my sight because every time a notification pops up, I'm like, oh, what's that? So the first thing that you can do to limit that temptation is to obviously put it somewhere where it's not in sight. I like to put it in my room if I'm working downstairs on the table, and then if I'm working upstairs, and I like to put it downstairs. It's totally on my way, I won't be able to see a notification, I won't be able to hear a notification, therefore I'm not really distracted. It's kind of not in my mind. Once I'm finished with revision, I know where it is and I can go back to get it. So if putting away not in sight does not work for you, then this might work for you. And it is an app called Forest. Now that's on my phone right here. Just want to say that I'm not sponsored by this app, I just genuinely use it, right? This is the app and I've talked about it before in a different video. But basically what you do is you grow a tree. <laughs> now it sounds like a stupid concept, but you can set a time between 10 minutes and two hours for when you want to grow your tree. Say if I set it for 20 minutes and I press plant. So what that does is a plant is growing on this app at the moment. And basically what I'll do is I'll set that aside for the whole 20 minutes. Now when you close the phone, your phone will still come up onto that screen when you open it. Now if you think halfway during your revision session, oh my god, I can't do this anymore, I wanna give up, you can press this little button here, and it says, you can say yeah, but then your tree dies, and you just killed your tree that you've been growing over this period of time. And it won't, it won't stay alive until you finish the whole time. And now it might sound like, oh my god, and that won't work for me, I'll just press give up all the time. But I'm not gonna lie, you have like an emotional connection to this tree afterwards. For example, on Monday I grew four trees and it kind of like records how much time you've been revising and stuff. So that's why I like the app. It kind of just like discourages you from going on your phone. Like you're still allowed to go on it. You're still allowed to sort of go on your phone but it will kill the tree and that's kind of sad. I just I just think it's a good concept and you know what, try it out. Now say if you come to me like, and I've done all of that and I don't know what to do because that's not working for me. I have one more thing for you that is sort of extreme, but not really. Just take your phone and give it to your parent. I like giving it to my mum sometimes or even your sister or your brother or a friend and say to them, do not under any circumstances give my phone back to me until this, so and so time is up. And there you go, your phone is gone and you can't do anything about it. Now I know that computers can also be a distraction. Things like Netflix and stuff. Once you watch one episode of a series, there's no going back. So we need to stop that before it gets out of hand. There's also sort of apps that you can download to um, block certain websites. Let me have a look. Because I've, I've never used any, so let me just have a look of some that you can use. Okay, so here it says there's one called Self Control, and that's free to download. I know a YouTuber that actually recommended this app, and I've never downloaded it personally, but basically what they do is for a certain amount of time, they block a website, so you can block Netflix for like two hours while you're doing your revision. You haven't got the ability to give in to your distractions. Topic number two that I'm going to talk about is to-do list. Now, I'm a fan of to-do list. I think I write one like every day and I write it on a post-it note because yeah, I just think it's a good sign. Basically what I do is usually in the morning I'll just write a couple of things down and then I'll stick that on my computer and when I'm done with it, I also feel like you need to know how to write a to-do list because you want to break down your sort of 
goals into key points and then put them down. And I hate when people say this because anything's possible, but you have to be realistic. I used to do this so often. Like I used to put 20 things down on my to-do list and I thought in the morning, I thought, yes, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. But it was so not realistic. And then it just discouraged me at the end of the day because I didn't finish my to-do list and that was very sad. And you know what, the student room is even helping you. You can just go onto the website and search for their study planner. It just basically helps you plan your studies around your life. It says schedules, revision for all your exams, helps you meet homework deadlines. Like, it's perfect, go check it out. This is something that I've kind of realized as I've gotten older, but that is my concentration definitely decreases the longer I revise. Usually my concentration span, but after that usually I'm looking at the time, looking outside the window, seeing if anything's going on. I don't know, like I start getting distracted. That's natural, it's something that happens to a lot of people. That's why I think doing 30 minute revision periods are actually really good for you and you can take a 10 minute break in between and then get on with another 30 minutes because during that 10 minutes you can kind of walk around regenerate and don't go on your phone you know during that 10 minutes go take a walk talk to your mum talk to your dad i don't know go outside in the garden for a little bit it's supposed to be summer right now it's raining i wish it was sunny so that I could be like, yeah, go take a walk outside in the garden. It's nice and sunny, but it's raining. So go take a walk around your house. Half an hour, I think, is a good time to give yourself a little bit of a break. That sort of increases the efficiency of your work. You're working for short periods of time, but it's smarter. Basically, the last thing is just balancing your vision life and your study life around your social life and sleep because it's very difficult to do when it's exam season. You feel like you don't have a social life. I made a whole video about it, so you can go check it out. It is the video from last week. I'm not kidding, I've been talking for half an hour. I'm actually gonna have to cut half of it out because I'm such a rambler. But yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the student room down below. My channel is linked in the description if you don't know. I make beauty and lifestyle videos here on YouTube, but I also make videos about sort of everything, studies as well, and you guys seem to like it. I just hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.